up YouTube, how's it going? I'm Tyrant here and today we will be delving into the new Rental Equipment Credit, or REC for short in Star Citizen. So just what that is REC. Rec is essentially the video rental star of Star Citizen. But rather than movies and games, it is used for the rental of ships and equipment for use in game. Currently Rec can be used to rent most of the stuff in game. It can rent most of the flyable ships apart from the limited edition ones such as the Mighty Super Hornet or the Rocket Toad-Poting Mustang Delta. When it comes to equipment, the same applies as you can rent most of the stuff that is currently available from the Voyager Direct Store. All rentals can be made on the website under the electronic access part of the store. So once a rental has been active, you will have 7 days of use, but these do not have to be back to back. In the current form, once you rent an item, you have in essence 7 24 hour usage tokens. One of these will be used when you log into Arena Commander, then you have a rental for 24 hours period from the time that you logged in. So then you won't have to use another token for 24 hours, and if you don't log in after 24 hours, you will not automatically lose, use another token until you next log in. As an added bonus, anything that you are currently renting can be extended for 80% of the original cost. So this is going to save you a lot of wreck in the long run, as if you are renting something over a long period of time, such as a ship, you will now be able to rent it at a lower cost. Sadly though, if you do rent any of the ships in the game using obviously rental equipment credits, you will not be able to view them in the hangar. The only place you will be able to see them and make modifications to them will be on the hollow table, obviously also situated in the hangar, but they will not be available to walk around in the hangar. So now the important part, how is Rec actually currently earned? Well Rec is currently earned in any public match where some sort of scoring is involved, so this is in essence any mode apart from free flight mode. The brilliant thing is, Rec is actually fairly easy to earn and can level up very quickly. So even for, you don't have to be a brilliant pilot to earn it quickly. So me myself, I wouldn't class myself as a very good pilot. If anything, I'm probably scraping the bottom of the barrel. But on average, I'm still coming out with between 9 and 1,800 REC a match. So when you consider a Hornet, or the basic Hornet in the rental store, it currently costs 11,000 REC. It's not going to take you that long to get to up to one of these, doing 20 minute battle royale matches. Overall then, I feel that the rental system does add a lot to the game. So this is most of my personal thoughts, but it finally feels like there's some sort of progression in the game, that you can work towards something, rather than just aimlessly shooting people in space. But now at least, like I said, you can work towards something, as you can look to earn a new ship, or you can rent for a week, uh, new weapons, so all that sort of stuff. Also, the brilliant thing is, in a lot of games, you'd expected this system to be incredibly unfair because they wanted to spend money, obviously, but in this game, the system is currently very fair. To what you earn, to how the prices are set in the store, it's very fair. It's not going to take you long to earn anything whatsoever. And obviously, you can increase it for a lower cost, for 80% of the cost if you do want to increase the rentals. So this does, in my opinion, add a lot to the game, as you've finally got something to work towards. So, what are your thoughts on this system? How do you think it's going to implement the game? Again, thank you for watching. This has been Iron Tyrant. Fly safe out there.